Hollywood. Welcome to the CNET Mailbag, the show where we let you in on the wacky, wild, and wonderful email that we get from viewers like you. Vinny had a question about Brian Tong's recent video on how to stop iTunes from backing up your iPhone and iPod Touch every time you sync. He said, I was just wondering if you could explain what the iTunes backup is actually backing up. I was wondering the same thing. Brian Tong tells me it's backing up any changes you've made, so if you have to restore your iPhone in the future, you'll be able to get them from last time you synced. Unfortunately, that backup can apparently take as little as five minutes and as long as 30. 30. Thus, our video. Hope it helps. Claudio from New Jersey wrote in to say, from time to time, the CNET TV homepage, along with other CNET homepages, such as CNET News, change their looks to a black background with the CNET logo modified. But then, either a few minutes or hours later, it changes back to the regular design. Is CNET having problems with the new look, or is it just a test? Claudio, our redesign is still in the rollout stage. We're testing it right now so that only a few users get it at a time. So sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. It's because we're trying to get feedback and let people see the design without serving the whole thing up at once. But soon, we will be all black background and new logo all the time. Hope you like it. Now a few comments on the terrible job that we're apparently doing here at CNET. Fred wrote, like, I'm watching the 2008 Audi A8 LW12 video, and at 3.40, the video skips. Like, who edited that vid, and did they bother to watch it when they were done? Like, CNET, wake up. I say wake up. Flop. I like cookies. Um, I also like cookies, Fred. And even though we barely noticed the tiny audio hiccup, which editor Mitch Chang swears was an actual pause by Brian Cooley, we still fixed the video and re-uploaded it. Sean wrote, all this week I've been seeing a couple of odd spelling mistakes. Tom Merritt misspelled storage as storyage, and on CNET Live you guys spelled problem as problem. I thought you guys were expert journalists. These are silly, unnecessary mistakes that should never have been made. Love the show. Smiley. Merritt, journalists, and unnecessary? Are you just joking, Sean? You're just joking, right? Okay, but either way, we fixed those videos and we re-uploaded those too. On a related note, Aaron asks, I know CNET is currently owned by CBS, one of the biggest broadcasting networks in America. So is there any chance that one day we could see CNET TV actually on TV? I, for one, would love to see this. Yeah, Aaron, we're probably not going to be on the big screen because I don't think real TV lets you fix your videos and re-upload them. No, I'm totally kidding. I don't know for sure, but honestly, the way we've been integrating with CBS, I wouldn't be surprised. Watch for Natalie Del Conte on the CBS Early Show, actually. She's on there all the time. Me? I'm just hoping to be the next host of The Amazing Race. All right, Michael had a content request for us. Hey, Molly, can you get somebody to do an insider secret on using Tomato or DDWRT to make a super router? Michael, I have no idea what you just said to me, so I'm guessing it's right up Tom Merritt's alley. I'll talk to him about it. And finally, let's end this week's episode with some lover mail. Lover mail. Nick says, has Natalie Del Conte ever repeated the same dress on Loaded, or does she have some sort of mystical closet with an endless supply of outfits? And by the way, she's uber pretty. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Oh, that's nice, Nick. And yeah, Natalie, if you could email me the password to the mystical endless supply closet, that would be great. Actually, I think it's called New York. And that's it for this week, everyone. Keep that feedback coming. Tell your friends to watch. Mailbag at CNET.com or send me a postcard. 235 2nd Street, San Francisco, California, 94105. See you next week.